Gaz, you know, Gaz has improved a lot. Um, I played him at one of the last Casey Game Ons, and he was really well, doing really good. I can tell he's really worked a lot on like how he ha just has improved overall. Looks like they're going to Battlefield, so this will be pretty interesting. Yeah, I actually like this, so we're going to hit to Battlefield. And they're going to start. We already did a hand warmer. And um, so my thoughts on this matchup is, so with Battlefield, I think it's actually pretty even overall. I talked about last match about sharking, which is something you don't talk about like, a ton in Melee, but it's still, like right there. That wasn't exactly sharking, more of a tech chase, but Falcon is really good at sharking beneath the platform with his up air, uh, leading into a combo like that. Reach is really good at optimizing his combo setups, definitely using a lot of 20GX stuff, which is good. Uh, I think in this day and age in the meta game, I think 20GX is a very correct approach into getting over some harder matchups. I think Marth Falcon, uh, both characters I think can just blow up each other pretty easily. Marth really good with his mid-range spacing, uh, grab punish game, and has some good edge guard tools against Captain Falcon. Well, Captain Falcon has Marth perfect enough that Falcon can still juggle him well at certain percents into a knee. Looking so far at a stock lead by Reesh, and it seems that Reesh has just really good control of the neutral. And as I say that, yeah, he definitely slips, uh, but he keeps his composure, keeps the momentum. Uh, comes back in, it's two stocks each. Good throws by Gaz. Uh, I could see why he wanted to jump up on that platform. Uh, definitely try to see if there, uh, it looked more like a flub, but definitely try to cover his options in, in a safe way. The only problem with like tech chasing is the more safe you play, uh, the less rewards you usually get, unless you are extremely certain, and that's why reads are so beneficial. Gonna try to get an optimized edge guard here. That was interesting. Good double up air to forward smash, but Reach gets back on the stage. Reach definitely needs to milk how he did not lose a stock here. Um, now he has Gaz close to the ledge, and now it's pretty even. Gaz taking center stage. Reach on knockdown. And then now they're just exchanging. Um, yeah, they're both at the percent where they would have hit both got one hit from an exchange of neutral that could have costed a stock like you saw there with Reach. Patiently waits out the side B, but that was a good nearby gas. Tries to lock in the stock, but Reach has just good fallback uh, to grab the ledge. And now it's even stocks. Reach needs to take advantage of his invincibility right here to make sure Gaz doesn't set up um, a more favorable neutral by maintaining center stage control. Uh, like what we're seeing right here with Gaz T, he's taking center stage. Now he has a range where he can hit people with forward smash. He can hit people with a down tilt poke um, on the ground. Uh, but as I say that now, Reach has reversed that, realizing that Gaz wants that center stage control, gets in there, you know, breaks the core of what the problem was defensively, uh, and now could possibly crack the egg in terms of the defensive game that Gas was trying to play with a punish. A really close set. Had some flubs overall. Uh, Reach's punish game really strong, but I think Gaz's control game is really strong. And so that type of exchange is interesting to see. Um, as we saw Reach decent in his wall breaks, and what a wall break is obviously is if an opponent is really good at controlling neutral and keeping the opponent out, but if the other player is really good at do it, being a wall breaker and breaking through that defensive game plan, then if the opponent doesn't have a plan B of what to do when they're being pressured, when their defenses aren't working, then they can easily cost them the stock. Uh, looking like we're going back to Battlefield, I can understand this. They both were trying to feel each other out. You know, I, I can't remember the last time both these players played. And so it's going to be interesting to see uh, how they interact, especially with Game 2. Game 2 being the big factor of, like, who knows each other's cards better, like, what are their game plans. Uh, looking pretty even so far. Reach at 110%. See if he's good with his fadeback still to get back onto the ledge. Oh, good tech. And that actually will make sure he maintains a stock. All right, good edge guard by Gaz. Wave dashes back. Oh, he's taking a ledge game for protection against invincibility, but that's going to be something hard to re retaliate with because the problem with staying towards the ledge when the opponent comes back is you're sacrificing center stage just to get rid of invincibility. Good down throw. Or just, yeah, good throw overall. Uh, okay, looks like Reef not trying to overextend with that punish there. I think that's understandable. Um, but the problem with, against Gaz is that um, I've noticed that even if you have a wall breaker like Reach, like Gaz is still good at maintaining a good controlled neutral with his mid-range spacing. Like you saw right there with his forward air, now he gets a grab punish. Good tech chase by Gaz. And see, this is why some of these players are doing so well in brackets, because they've optimized um, how to read the opponent and really get a ton out of just a single hit like that fair you saw in the grab. 
Oh, good down air by Reach. See if he can lock in the stock. Misses the grab, overextends there. Now Gaz is back at center stage. Gaz realizing he needs to do something now with this stock, and he does by locking in with the forward smash. Uh, takes center stage, see what he does with Reach's invincibility. Last time he grabbed the ledge to get rid of it. Uh, looks like Gaz kind of maintains more towards the center of the stage compared to the ledge of last time. Gets a punish. Oh, good up tilt by Gaz. Good forward smash. He can lock in the stock now and then even it out. He needs to punish Reach correctly. Reach is actually really good with his fade backs with his up B. Uh, misses with the Nair. He needs. Okay, yeah, I can. Uh, that minor dash dance right there was to see any kind of commitment that Reach might try to promote. Um, of course, Reach didn't really slip at that time, so Gaz wasn't able to get a fast punish, but he still secured the stock regardless. Good side B to uh, forward air. Reach feeling the momentum now. Definitely feels like he needs to put all his chips in to get this. Oh, good throw uh, mix-ups. Yeah, keep the pressure going. Now he's going to throw him off the stage, try to lock in a fast stock. He re Gaz realizes he needs to put all his chips into this stock right now. No, I understand that. Even though he misses down air, that was the correct thing to do. Oh, yeah, Reach had just enough time to shield up. Uh, it's honestly anyone's game. It's going to come down to neutral. How good is Gaz going to edge guard this? It's 1-1. One, one. See what Reach replies with as a counter pick. So what we saw there, um, good ad adaptation by Gaz. He definitely realized that Reach's punish game was pretty lethal, and you saw with that last game, uh, I think Gaz was just taking more risks in his neutral. Uh, Gaz was playing a lot more defensively game one, but then he realized that Reach is really good at wall breaking, breaking through neutral, breaking through uh, an established spacing game. Uh, okay, so we're going to FD. Honestly, it can be lethal for both characters. Again, Falcon has the juggles he can place on the Marth, uh, especially with no platforms for Marth to tech on. But Marth has really good throw setups on characters like Captain Falcon, who is still regarded as a fast faller, not as much as Fox and Falco, but just enough that he can eat a heavy punish and uh, throw setup. As I say that, um, definitely reaches out a percent where he can DI away from up throw to not get forward smash. Good Nair, needs to lock in the stock, tries to go for a shield breaker, but uh, Reach doesn't make it back to the ledge regardless. Good stomp, patiently waits. Yeah, you know what, I'm really impressed with Gaz's throw game. A lot of Mars sometimes just do a lot of up throws, but the fact that Gaz is mixing up his throws and being aggressive with them uh, is really good and it's paying off. Gaz already had a two stock lead. Um, so, Reach one step behind in terms of stocks, but Reach's punish game is pretty strong. He could reverse this easily, uh, but I think Reach needs to mix up his approaches because Gaz is starting to figure out so, uh, Reach's game plans overall. I think Reach can be pretty tricky, but Gaz is starting to realize, okay, these are the type of setups that Reach is using against me. Uh, I'm going to stuff his approaches with things like fair and then punish off of that one fair. Reach is back to the ledge. Both players at center stage and Reach gets the down throw. It's pretty even so far. See what Gaz does with the invincibility. Alright, see if he can lock in this stock here. Ooh, a side B. Uh, I mean, I can understand that mix up. His up B recoveries haven't been working recently with Gaz kind of figuring out how to lock in those edge guards. Uh, good shield by Gaz. Uh, Stomp is a big, especially at 36% from Arth, that would have led to a decent combo. Or at least tech chase scenario. Take center stage, see what Reach does with his invincibility, very important, especially the fast character like Falcon. Goes for the side B, I think Gas is really trying, really figuring out Reach's side B mix-ups. And the thing about side B is, yeah, it's, it's a good reward on hit in a lot of scenarios, but if you miss, there's so much recovery that you can eat a heavy punish. Oh, interesting, goes for the down tilt is an interesting mix-up, uh, but he gets the knee and it doesn't look like Gaz is going to have enough space to recover. 
Now see what Gaz does with his invincibility. Both players should not choke at this scenario. They've both been playing very well. I would not be disappointed if I was either player and reached this far uh, into a set where both players are figuring each other out. Good throw setup. Good force match. Now he knows he needs to lock in this stock here. Reach knowing he needs to mix up his recovery. Tries to go over extends over Gaz, but Gaz wave dash back. Oh, and that okay. Oh, yep, good down to him. That'll be it.